Hello guys, I am back with another video and today we talk about Deku gave up on being a hero. So, in the last video of Deku, well, well, it was not actually Deku in this perspective specifically. We were in the perspective of Momo after she woke up from, well, getting knocked out slash, well, fainting from being, well, getting trapped on a man trap. Well, she woke up and she was right next to Izuku on a bed in a pretty nice room, actually. So, after a bit of, well, banter, I guess, well, they started talking to Slenderman. Slenderman explains that Izuku is actually the son of Zalgo, but Izuku don doesn't want to accept it. Izuku thinks that he's, well, not related to that freak. And Izuku thought it was just a stupid dream. But, well, Slenderman still persists, saying that he is the son of, well, Zalgo. Even, um, Lazari even tries to tell Izuku that she is her, well, well, her, well, Izuku is technically her, like, um, well, half-brother actually as Izuku doesn't accept it as well saying that he's not related to those well to those freaks quote-unquote Izuku is technically a freak himself because well Izuku is still pretty much well bonded to Quetzal the blade so after a while of like talking and after a while of explaining Apparently, Zalgo's working with All for One on trying to, well, use their power to basically mold the world in their image. Then after that, he would probably kill All for One and use his power to become the ultimate being, the Alpha and the Omega. And that is why Izuku was recruited, slash, well, kidnapped. So, yeah, so after the, well, UA and, well, SCP Foundation found them, they thought that, well, he was, well, trying to capture them for, mis like, mis like, nefarious, I meant, nefarious deeds. So, after explaining, well, they accepted and they started getting ready. For the final battle. So yeah, this will be the well explanation about what happened last time. And so let's begin the video. So let's talk about what happens next. So after getting back to UA and also some of the well creepy pasta group were also brought to UA to basically get questioned and also being used as help. So after a bit of explaining where Over One is, well, Slenderman explains that Zolgo is currently being held right next to the castle. Yes, seriously, a castle. Because, well, why not? So, after getting ready, including some of you a, as well, recruit, um, recruitment. Including some, well, heroes in training. Let's just say that. So, they started running onto these boats so they can try and go into the cover of darkness so they can infiltrate the island that they're, well, that everyone is staying in. So, after they arrived, it was a pretty dingy island. Just imagine, like, um, a imagine like, imagine like a mix of like skull island and monster island from like um toho films don't ask i just i just remembered that off the top of my head just just imagine that so after they arrived the jungle was or the beach uh, specifically is filled with trash like like seriously it's even worse than bodega beach <laughs> and that's saying something so after they crash land there, 
they saw some things. DC red glowing eyes in the forest. So, Izuku brings out Quetzal as Quetzal says this. Hey, can you give me some blood at least? Izuku says this. <sighs> Fine. Izuku gets his hand and lets Quetzal bite him, which causes blood to, well, go into Quetzal's mouth. As the blades of, well, the sword start rotating, almost like a chainsaw. So, the heroes get ready to attack these creatures, but they were actually just bats. So, after, well, that whole situation, they decided to, well, camp out for tonight. They started getting ready for the battle, as... When they started eating, they heard noises. Specifically, this like these noises. These noises almost sounded like, well, jaguars. As Izuku, well, specifically, Quetzal starts well getting worried. As Quetzal tells Izuku this, "Hey, I think I know what are those things." As Izuku says this, "What are you talking about?" You know in like Mayan legends, right? The Were Jaguar. Izuku says this. Were Jag Oh no. Izuku tells everybody to basically um turn off all of their lights. Try and get anything that's like really valuable and get out of there or hide somewhere. So after they hide somewhere, they see that they're or well were jaguars. If you don't know what they are, well, apparently they're actually real in Mayan legend. I don't know what they're usually called, but the most common name for them is just Were Jaguar. They're basically just humans with like the heads of jaguars. Even ones that are well um have horns, I believe remember that, but apparently they're real. So after looking around these Jaguar, where Jaguar guards started looking around and smelling for if there's more humans. As they see the rake, you probably know him from like last episode. I can't remember um, which episode though. So, yeah, the rake says this if you can't find them, then just find anybody that's like suspicious or whatever. So, while they were just looking around, Izuku gets ready to fight, but, well, Izuku hears a scream, as the jaguars on the rake, well, were alerted to that area, as the rake says this. <sighs> it seems we found an intruder, boys. Now, find that bitch. So, they started going into that area, as everybody gets out. And decide to go somewhere else because there's no way that they're going to be staying over there. So, after they go into like a, well, cave, they find out that this place is filled with, well, this specific type of gem. Izuku sees one of the gems as Izuku says that almost they're almost red as blood as Izuku says this. Well, what are these? As Ketso recognizes them as blood gems. Just like um, ritual objects, specifically for destroying evil. As Izuku says this, wait, destroying evil gods, you say? Hmm. Izuku smiles a little bit. As Izuku says this, all right, everybody, try and get. Try and get all of these like blood gems or whatever you call them. As everybody starts getting all of these gems, as they put it in a a crate that they found earlier on. As Izuku starts bringing it towards the wait for a second the castle. So Izuku says this. So what they're supposed to do? Destroy this? Well, or create this so-called um, banishment circle or something? As he says this, well, you just need to put them in a circle and then chant these words, which 
Izuku was given the words as Izuku says this. Which I'm not gonna say it because, well, it's already confusing enough to say. Yeah, I just Google searched it last time. A ritual unlike destroying demons, so... Let's, let's just pretend that it's also able to basically destroy evil gods or something like that. So, after Izuku puts all of these like blood gems in a circle, and after Izuku um, tells the words, well, in the castle, where O for One is talking to Zolgo, well, well, the gauntlet basically explodes. Yeah, it blew off, well, O for One's arm, but thankfully he has a regeneration quirk. O for One was pissed. And Zolgo was also pissed. He never thought that Izuku would ever come here, but when he finally senses the magic, or, well, the essence of, well, Izuku, he starts smiling and saying this. Well, Zolgo says this. Ha. Huh. So, my son has finally arrived. Oh, and my daughter. So, we finally meet. My lovely son. <laughs> As Over One says this. Um, right, but we don't have that, well, that gauntlet anymore, so what am I supposed to do? As Zolgo says this. Your purpose is finally, well, over. Now, your usefulness is pretty much, well, gone. So, we to die. As Over One says this. Wait, what? No, please. As Zolgo opens his several mouths. As he starts absorbing all for one. As nothing remains but bones. Killing him. As, well, Zolgo says this. Mm, much better. Now. Summon all of my minions. We shall kill these so-called heroes. So, back to Izuku. After Izuku does that ritual, well, Izuku tells every one of like these, well, well, every single one of these heroes and uh, people that are basically related to them, and also some of the people that are related to, well, the creepypasta group, to basically get ready because Izuku definitely hears that. Sorry about that. Izuku hears that there are some soldiers coming towards them, including Zolgo himself. So, Izuku tells Ketso to bite off a bit of his arm. As blood comes out, Izuku transforms into his demigod form. As Izuku says this, Alright, let's do this. This will be the end of this so-called, well, era. And comfort the era of, well, the era of peace. We shall destroy this evil presence, no matter what. As everybody gets pumped up, including Momo, and also Diane and Lilith. Lilith now learned how to use, well, well, whips. Yeah, I just imagine they're just using whips as, like, a weapon. As Izuku says this, ready? As everybody said this, yes. As Ziku says this, shot the Jagu, um, Jaguars or where Jaguars started charging towards Ziku and the rest of his well army, I guess. Zolgo is getting ready to grab Ziku and capture him, including Zari. So let's just well wait for first. So yeah. So, after the charge, they basically collided as they basically started fighting each other. Izuku was fighting with Zalgo. Zalgo's several arms wielded several weapons. Some axes, some swords, some bows, some arrows, basically types of weapons. For Zazari, she's fighting her so-called sister. 
which she was well hesitant of well being well the actual daughter of Zalgo, but she decided to become her I meant become his well servant. So she starts fighting well Lazari as she says this. So my own brother and sister decide to fight against our father. How ignorant as she says Says this, you damn traitors. As Lazari says this, traitors, how about you? You're trying to destroy your own kind? As she says this. Oh, sorry about that. I don't consider myself as a stupid human. These humans deserve to bow to us. You can die with them! For Izuku, while well, Izuku was fighting with Zaldus. Oh, hello, my son. It's been a long time. So, why did you decide to join this SCP Foundation and decide to become this? Well, this. You decided to. Well, decided to protect these humans. When you do, when you hated everybody, including these quirk users, why? As Izuku says this, because even though I know that people like them are still assholes, I still believe that they can change. And you are just a bit ignorant, my so-called dad. As Izuku starts charging towards them, wielding his well spear, this one. Izuku starts slashing at him as he says this. Why you take this? As he gets ready to smash Izuku in the head with his, well, axe. Izuku um, blocks it by using Ketzel. As Ketzel says this. Izuku, you're too weak. I think it's better for you to use, well, that form. As Izuku says this. I guess you're right. So... Izuku lets Ketzel bite his arm more as his body changes. Izuku's face starts getting engulfed in wind as his face starts turning into the mask itself, turning it into a feathered serpent. Izuku's body starts transforming into a serpent like being. Izuku gains six wings wings that are feathered they're so bright that it even resembles the rainbow teeth were almost sharp enough to slice anything in half izuku but he was on top of the head of that well thing as izuku's human body says this so, this, hmm. so, I am finally able to use my power at full strength. My name is Quetzalcoatl, the god of winds and storms. And now, you so-called fallen god, you so-called demon of darkness, be engulfed in my light. As he starts creating a blast of wind as he says this. Typhoon. Chaos. As the typhoon starts tearing open, like tearing apart, well, Zalgo. Zalgo's still alive, though, as Zalgo says this. Does he think that that wind would ever beat up? As several pieces of debris, specifically the bloodstones, were embedded in his body. As Quetzalcoatl, still in control of Izuka's body, says this. Huh. You seriously think that I would ever lose? That is why I kept the bloodstones. These bloodstones were not only used to destroy the gauntlet. Wait for a second. Um, dismiss. 
sorry about that so you really think that these so-called bloodstones were not only used to well to destroy the gauntlet and also any other evil god it's also able to be used as a catalyst as he says this what type of catalyst as he says this this catalyst is used for destroying demons as he says this no no as his body starts changing as his body transforms into a cube being trapped in this well brand new vessel allows him to now no longer disturb the world these were jaguars turn back into their base forms jaguars as they started running away as they go back into the forest everybody celebrated diane lilith and momo see zuku in this as zuku says this or quetzal hmm hello girls as diane says this zuku what happened to you as he says this sorry but this is not you. I am Quarrel, but don't worry, I'll release Izuku, but make sure to make him happy, okay? You after all deserved it. As he starts, well, giving back control to Izuku, transforming back into a sword. As Izuku says this, Ugh, God dang, damn that hurt. As all three of the girls hug Izuku. As they say this, we actually did it. We actually defeated the most evil being ever. As Zuku says this, wait, 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 we actually did it? Huh. As Abel says this, yeah, Zuku. Actually, so, after they do that, they started going back to mainline Japan, or, um, mainland Japan. As they celebrated with a big feast. So, after eating, Izuku leaves to go back to, well, America. Where Izuku is going to live out his life as a foundation agent. So, yeah. This will be the, well, well, let's just say the, um, wait for a second. The epilogue. So, yeah, let's just begin. So, epilogue, this epilogue comes up as Izuku is now pretty much pretty old. Izuku is now in his 30s, I meant his 30s, as Izuku is now married to Diana, Lilith, and Momo. All of them were pretty happy as all of them gave birth. The foundation was pretty hesitant of, well, Letting both Diana and L and like Lilith's children live on, but they decided to let him because well, Izuku's now the well chairman of the um well SCP Foundation. So, Izuku's also working as a well, um somewhat of a, a figure at a figurehead to the company that well. Um, well, Momo owns now. Being, well, Momo's parents' company, I meant, um, Momo's, um, parents' company, or at least used to, now Momo now runs it with her son. Izuku's pretty happy with that, as Izuku acts as a father and also as a figurehead to the, well, foundation. Working as both a father and a, well, a foundation well agent and also foundation well figurehead is pretty hard for him but Izuku still manages so yeah Izuku's pretty happy with his brand new life and let's go back to Bakugo Bakugo's now well pretty much in well Tartarus being punished for what he did even some of the well villains there even despise him calling him because well he a kid by the name of Ziku, which is now pretty powerful. Even some wanting to, well, be with him for, well, 
either gain or being well well being regarded as a great person or well become a hero or something like that i don't know they absolutely want to join ezekiel's well cause so yeah the scp foundation is still well pretty hidden to the public but it's pretty well known in hero's eyes as the first ever well well foundation to actually work in tandem with well well unknown creatures or scps so yeah so i hope you liked the video and i hope you like this ending for this series and i hope you liked the video comment and subscribe so you can support this channel and yeah so goodbye